Hey guys, welcome to Vlogoween Day 28. Today I am finally doing a video other than BuzzFeed quizzes, which I'm pretty happy about. I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. Um, because I was low-key kind of getting tired of doing BuzzFeed quizzes every single day. Um, I feel like this year's Vlogoween was different than past Vlogoweens that I've done. Um, pretty much because I only did like I only filmed like six videos, the first six videos, and then I was sick with COVID, so I didn't post for like a week, because I was too sick, I didn't really have the energy to do anything all week, so I posted like six videos for Vlogoween this year, then I stopped for a week because I was sick with COVID, and then I feel like just about every single video I've done for Vlogoween since I've been better was BuzzFeed, was BuzzFeed quizzes. There was like two or three videos that weren't BuzzFeed quizzes. So I was kind of getting sick and tired of doing BuzzFeed quizzes every single day because I couldn't think of any other videos to make. Um, I mean, some of you guys may not care. Some of you guys might might like watching me do BuzzFeed quizzes. I don't know, but I was kind of getting sick and tired of doing the same old videos every single day. So I really wanted to, like, have a variety of different videos for vlogging this year. Um, like I said... A couple videos ago, I was pretty late planning my Vlogoween videos for this year because I kind of forgot about Vlogoween um, until like two days before. So I only had like a day or two to actually plan some videos and think of some videos to film. So I did have a whole list done up, but where I got so sick with COVID and I didn't post for like a week, I ended up deleting that list altogether and starting fresh. Fresh fresh being like I tried to look for some ideas but I couldn't think of any so I just did BuzzFeed quizzes but yeah I was super late starting my vlogween 2024 planning if that makes sense because literally I was going to do vlogween all along so I should have started planning earlier but I don't want to plan too early and I don't want to plan too late like I usually start planning like a week before Vlogoween or Vlogmas, but for Vlogmas this year, I am going to start planning literally on November 1st. November 1st hits, every video that I watch on YouTube will be Christmas related. I'm weird like that, I'm sorry, <laughs> but every video that I watch from November 1st to December 31st or like New Year's will be Christmas related. So while I'm watching Christmas related YouTube videos and like while I'm watching those videos, I will also be thinking of videos to make and I will be, be looking through those videos being like hey that's a good idea and just writing them down and so November 1st I will actually be starting my vlogmas 2024 list of videos that I will be posting in the month of December um well not the entire in the entire month for vlogmas I just post a video every day from December 1st to 25th Christmas day obvious obviously but yeah, I'll actually be prepared for Vlogmas and not start planning videos so late. But anyway, today's video, like I said, is different than my BuzzFeed quizzes for pretty much the entire month. Um, today's video, I will be telling you guys about an urban legend. Um, I've never heard of it before, but it's called The Blind Maiden. So I found the story on Wattpad, so I'm just going to read it straight off of there. Um, so... Let's just get into it. There is a new urban legend that has been circulating in schools all over Spain. In whispers and rumors, people are talking about a strange website called The Blind Maiden. And no, I will not be checking it out because I don't have... I'm not... No, I'm not going to say it. But I'm just not going to check it out. But anyway, this legend is almost totally unknown outside of Spain. They say most of the time the website is offline and you cannot access it, no matter how hard you try. However, according to the rumor, there are three rules you must obey in order to access the website. One, you must be all alone. Two, you must turn off all the lights in your house. Three, you must go to the website at exactly midnight on a moonless night. If you satisfy all of these conditions, you will apparently be granted access to the bling, to the blind maiden site. Again, I'm not going to be checking it out. So, I mean, who knows? I might do it someday, but... Right now, no, I'm not going to check it out. Um, I don't like... 
I don't know like what to expect. Like I said, I've never heard of this before. So me hearing about this for the first time, unless I see a video of somebody else doing it, like checking out the website, I don't plan on checking it out myself because again, I don't know what to expect. So unless I see a video of somebody else doing it or I actually know what to expect, like someone fill, kind of fills me in on it. Who knows, I might change my mind and check it out, check it out anyway after I read this. But as of now, I don't plan on checking it out. But who knows, that, that might change later in the future. I don't know, but anyway. Once aside, your eyes will immediately be assailed by a never-ending montage of shocking, screaming faces. The, picture, uh, the pictures are of boys and girls, their faces are twisted in tremendous fear, their mouths frozen in, si in a silent scream, their eyes are missing, the pictures are displayed quickly, flashing up on screen one after the other with no explanation. According to the legend, some lines of Spanish text will appear on the screen. Roughly translated, the text reads something like this. The website will take you to a whole new level of horror. A horror that will use all five of your senses. You must be very careful not to click on anything by accident. That alone just scares me. I don't know why, but, like, how can... Anyway, you will be faced with a real experience of absolute horror... Click, click the accept button to engage actively in the experience. Below the text are two buttons, accept and decline. At this point, you'll probably be very curious. You'll probably find yourself tempted to click the accept button. Don't. If you accept the challenge, you'll be you'll only be taking your life in your hands. No, thank you. I'm not doing that. <laughs> click decline and stay safe. Actually, literally, as soon as I'm done filming this video, I will go on YouTube and see if there's any videos of people checking this website out because now I'm curious. I don't want to check it out myself, but I'll see if there's any videos on YouTube of people checking it out. I'm, I'm intrigued, but not intrigued enough that I'm going to check it out myself. Um, click the client and stay safe. This is what is supposed to happen. If you click the button and accept the challenge. To your surprise and horror, you observe, you observe on your monitor a sinister silhouette walking towards your own home. No, thank you. No. Just no. You want to wake up. You want this to just be a nightmare. You watch as the specter approaches and enters the same room where you are sitting. No. You will see on your monitor your own your own back. Nah, even just reading this terrifies me. Oh my goodness. When you will feel a presence behind you, you will feel a tap on your shoulder. The last thing you see before you die will be the face of the blind maiden. Okay, honestly, guys, this might be the scariest thing I've ever read on, on this channel. Like, I've read my fair share of creepy stories, but this, like, takes the cake. Like, oh my goodness, this is horrifying just reading it. According to what I've been able to research, they say the blind maiden, maiden will rip out your eyes and take a snapshot of your face so that you will be forever you will, you will forever be a part of the website's picture gallery. Huh. Are you willing to take the risk? The choice is yours. As I said earlier, I found out about the blind maiden website from a friend of mine who lives in Spain. I don't know whether or not this urban legend is true. As far as I know, the legend is currently unknown outside of Spain. Honestly, I have not yet attempted to find the website. Yes, I admit it. I am too afraid. Me too. That's literally what I've been saying. I, I don't want to check this thing out because I'm, like, I'm too scared now that I read that. I don't... No. No. But I will pass the challenge on to you. Do you dare to, do you dare to check? Is the urban legend true or false? Simply a harmless con collection of images and web pages or a horrible reality? Here's a rough English translation of a comment from a Spanish boy who claims to have accessed the website. Blind Maiden or La Donchela Ciega or El Ciego de Soltera? Is that, I, is that how you say it? I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, this urban legend is real and it almost suffered the consequences of messing with that crazy site. The story is that there is a web, web page which you can only enter if you are totally alone. With all the lights off in your home at, at exactly midnight. After that, whatever you do, don't click where it says accept the challenge. Because when you do this, you, when you do this, you will die. 
Probably within minutes. I didn't take this advice. I did the opposite and totally accepted the challenge. Right at that moment, I clicked the button. Everything I saw on the screen became so real. I saw a shadow walking towards a place that seemed to be my home, and I saw it walk to where I was. Paralyzed by fear, I could not move a muscle. Then it came to the door and began to open it. Right then, I turned around and saw the door behind me opening. And then I saw, see this face that was indescribable, but it had no eyes. Then it came closer, and I heard it whispering something I could not understand, and this face changed and became gruesome. And with an expression of terror, I will never forget. I ran with everything I could, and I tripped over something on the floor, and I hit the edge of my study table, and I fell unconscious. It seems she must have thought I was dead, because thanks to that, I survived. Never again in my life will I play with the supernatural, and I'll never underestimate its power. <sighs> No, I'm not, I'm not checking that out. I'm not even going, literally not even in the future. No, I don't care if I'm like 40 and I want to change my mind. I'm not doing it. I'm definitely not doing it. After reading that, that is probably the creepiest thing I've ever read. Like, even just reading it, I'm afraid that like, my, because like, I have a curtain to my bedroom. I don't have a door. Like, yeah, I'm not alone. I live with my pop, my parents, my aunt, my uncle, and the dog. So I'm really not alone. I, every room that I'm in, the lights are on the entire time. Um, not the entire house, because right now the upstairs lights are turned off because everyone's gone to bed. But my room, the lights are on, and pretty much 24-7, unless I'm, like, not home, I'm gone away for a few days, I turn my lights off until I get back, like, in my room anyway. But even just reading that, like, like I said, I'm not alone, my room lights are on, so literally it wouldn't work anyway apparently but even just reading that like I'm like afraid that like my curtain's gonna come open and I'll see something creepy really really creepy but yeah I'm just horrified just reading that but anyway if you guys enjoyed today's video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more content from me and I will see you guys tomorrow for vlogging day 29 bye guys